Hello everybody and welcome to IC Markets Market Commentary. My name is Tamar Mayer from Trade with Precision and today I want to do a spotlight on the Canadian dollar. So we've seen the markets or the pairs against the Canadian dollars pulling back quite nicely after a strong sell-off. So we've seen some weakening of the Canadian dollar and I want to start with KiwiCAD and the chart that I've got here is the daily chart and what we can see is that we've got a very nice uptrend clear series of higher highs and higher lows on the daily we also have the moving averages 10 20 50 all fanning all in the correct order for an uptrend now I drew the Fibonacci retracement from the latest low to the high and we can see the area of the 50% retracement is clustering quite nicely with the previous swing high here so on the move down we'll see that clearer on the weekly chart so I like this area and I'd like to see a bit of a pullback to release some of this strong buying pressure into the buy zone that area between the 10 and the 20 moving averages I'd like to see that the buyers are coming back after that pullback and a continuation of the move now we need to keep in mind that the higher time frame so the monthly is still in a downtrend but what I like about this market is first of all we broke this is the swing high the level that I've marked this is the swing high on the way down so breaking above it basically breaking the downtrend on the weekly chart and the pullback that I'm looking for is to test this level from above and if we'll take a look on the monthly chart what we can spot is that we also broke above a significant area so this area over here this is we actually went above it so this is the previous swing low on the way down as well before we made the latest lower low and seen this pullback now if we look at the monthly monthly chart it is in a downtrend and we are pulling back into the sell zone so it's the area between the 10 and the 20 in a downtrend but you can see that there's another level around here in and around the 0 0.86 we broke above significant level over here around the 82.50 so keeping that in mind I'm looking for a pullback and then a push toward that 0 0.86 the next market that I'm interested in and looking quite similar is pound versus the Canadian. So this is the daily chart and we can see we are in an uptrend and we push to a new higher high, moving averages 10, 20, 50, all fanning, all in the correct order for an uptrend. And again, I'm looking for a pullback into the buy zone and into this area around the 1.60. So it's also a round number. So if we go into the weekly and see what this level corresponds with, we can see that this area around here, there's a couple of touches at that area, is not as precise as nice as we've seen on KiwiCAD. But what's important on this market is the level that we broke above so in and around the 1.58 is a very strong resistance level that the market broke above it and now is trading higher so if we'll take a look at the monthly we'll see many touches at that level in the past so we can see a touch here another one here there's another touch and another touch over here and currently we are trading higher so similar to KiwiCard the monthly chart is also in a downtrend and we're simply pulling back into the sell zone but once again we can pull back a little bit further which mean a continuation of the uptrend on the daily chart so we always have to keep in mind where the higher time frame are sitting and do we have enough room to move before we hit another level of support and resistance so in this case the level above is around the 1.65 1.66 you can see again many touches at that level in the past so I'd like to be out before we reaching that area lastly I want to look at dollar cad and this one is a little bit different so if we'll take a look here on the weekly chart we can see that we had a bullish candle here in the buy zone and then we broke above that 
bullish candle in the buy zone so basically indicating that potentially more buyers are coming back into the market and also we have a very nice uptrend here on the weekly chart but we need to see the details a bit more on the daily chart so what we've done and this level this green line is the high of that bullish candle that weekly bullish candle so we broke above it we closed above it for one day and then we've pulled back but we haven't gone as low as the previous low so if we go ahead and break the high of this daily candle then we will be back in an uptrend on the daily chart as well so currently we broke the downtrend by making a higher low but we haven't confirmed an uptrend the next resistance is rather closer it sits in and around a little bit below the 1.36 we can see a couple of touches at that area so this is also the swing low on the daily chart so a little bit different a bit weaker in this case but if we see resumption or strength of the US dollar then this would be a market that I'll pay close attention to happy trading everyone and I'll speak to you soon bye for now Thank you.